Okay, well the skip bin's gone, so I was able to finally bring it in. So it's going to be a lot easier. There's my first circuit board. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is what's left. Oh, there we've still got vintage stuff. Vintage. Look at that. My gosh. I picked out a lot of the vintage stuff in this little pile here. Uh, ooh, that looks interesting. Wow. Actually, since we're here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe that's a bit more light. Wow. Oh, there's more PCs in here too. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a big garage. Wow, I didn't realise there was so much stuff still in the garage. Yeah, it's uh, quite a job, isn't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think there's much computers back there. There's, yeah. there's a couple. But... I've seen some in there. I'll probably later on, maybe through next week, Monday or something, I might scout through and help. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll have this mostly cleared out, I'd say, today. Oh, okay. So oh, we're, cool. we're going to start clearing out as much as we can. So we'll bring yeah, out any computers just, yeah, in just the pile. Or... Throw them down the side. Yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, and uh, since I'm here, we'll just do an update on what it looks like. I mentioned uh, CB radios, a whole heap of CB radios still there. Oh, that, that's a nice hold. This isn't yours? No. Uh, oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, I like these old, old gaming consoles. You'd, you'd probably know more about it than I would. Yeah. Most of the stuff in here I don't recognise. So. Oh, even some old CB radios, they're cool. Yeah, I might see if I can grab this one. What's this? Uh, wow. Yeah, I got a couple of them yesterday and... Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm cool. was having a quick flick through the games, really, just to yeah. see what he had. Yeah, well, you, you can have all the new ones, <laughs> just the old, what's the one under there that... Uh, you go for it, mate. That, yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah, no, no. This is, it. yeah, yeah, sounds good. There you are. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, yeah. Wow. Yeah, these, these games are hard to find. Oh, yeah, when they, you know, like, if I got the consoles, it's nice to have a, a representation of a game with them. Yep, yep. Wow. Another one? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Superstar cartridge. Wow, yeah. I'll take all that. So these ones you might be I don't know if you're interested in these sort of things. But that, that console, that's a vintage. Yeah, some of these are all vintage. I'll take some of this out. That's a nice start. Gaming consoles. Yay. I'll put these in the front seat. Look at that. Machine microcomputer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sheen. How old is this cartridge? Nice gold fingers in there too. It's <laughs> a nice. Uh, Steampunk. <laughs> cool. Some sort of voltmeter. 
All right. Oh, a bit manky, but nice and vintage. Because ah, I can't get to the side door now. I'm just going to have to throw everything into the back and then just pack it in. Uh, still got a bit there. Don't know what that is. Uh, this one looks like it's Oh, it's still got a floppy. You can use the rest for scrap steel. Don't want to pass up on the vintage floppies because they've got nice gold fingers on them. These are ones... Oh, it's actually got a ceramic CPU in it. Wow, this one's nice, 486 CPU, I just put everything that I don't want to the side and uh, in about three hours time the next skip bin's coming so I'll just throw them, some boards. Yay, hey, gold fingers. Might as well. Vintage. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, that's a little heavy little thing. PCs packed into the back. Rings. I'll look for plastic covers. Just gotta pack it in. Okay, almost one ride done.
Ah, some rain. IBM Blue Lightning ceramic CPU loaded. CB radio. AMD ceramic. Oh yeah. That's what we want. Amstrad. PC7386. Cool. PC, so there's still more vintage stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Another gold cap ceramic CPU. We like. Starting to work up a sweat already. Nice. So there's quite a quite a few vintage kind of packed stashed under the pile. So I want to try and start getting some of those vintage ones out. So make sure I get them. All right. Yeah. There we go. Even got some rain. Uh. Yeah, there's a a lot of smalls. I'm going to have to uh, be, try and. Pack it in the best I can, but it looks like I'm going to need another one of my orange bins. Um, I'll have to empty one out because all this loose stuff uh, that's got to that's going to sit at the side until I uh, get a chance. Make sure there's no Model M's. They're even good for parts, you know. Oh, how many of these have I gotten so far? The motor roller. Okay, slowly, ha, slowly getting there, guys. That's a. Oh. It's not priority right now. A rower? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, not a rower. I'd sink. <laughs> oh. 
really getting there now. It's just a big empty aluminium box. I just put that aside and then we'll just see how we go in the end. So I'm going to have to come and do one more pickup in a couple of days because no one's going to be here tomorrow. And EC. So I just want to get every vintage PC that I can for now. Yeah, I was wondering. I do have oxygen. Does anyone know? So there's pipelines, oxygen or nitrogen, helium, <laughs> something. All right, now what's that? PC? Oh, yeah, a modern one. Oh, well. I'll put it put it aside because I can see some more vintage. Ooh, nice one at the back there. Got to make a bit of a dent here. There we go. Yep, still got everything. Oh, tell you what. Way. but at least because what I was doing yesterday is I was picking up PCs from here the skip bin was here so I had to go right up to that corner and out onto the street so I've done a lot of miles yesterday I tell you uh, a lot of big old power supplies might go in and see if there's any more games. I want this box of um, CBs. What about this box of CBs? You doing anything with them? Uh. It's like I might get the. Oh yeah, all right, thanks. Yeah, I might go for a few, just, you know, try and keep one of each just for a, like a display. Um, I'm probably turning, going to turn out just like this guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, seeing these things is a good well, step to avoiding that. Well, he just had nuts and bolts just up there like that. No, I think someone tipped Oh, okay. I'd say they would have all been in the jars. My gosh, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Good old books. Oh, yeah. Engineering books. Wow. Oh, I've got me CB radios. Can't get much more vintage than these CB radios. Ah, oh, bungs for the big, the old bottles. They come in handy. I'll give them back their bucket. OK. 
Okay. Don't want to leave this behind. Okay. And I want this PC. Yeah. What we want. Maybe I have a fan full. This Pentium CPU was just in the grass, loose, and it's one of the most valuable gold recovery wise, even collectible. Haha, -ha. thank you. And I've got another Model M A IBM. Uh, this one's damaged and waterlogged, but uh, good for parts. Just trying to get stuff out of the back here. Now I've made it hard <laughs> for myself. Look at this. Just circuit boards. Motherboard, look at that. More laptops. Now I'm kicking myself. Oh, really? <laughs> M1? Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. Model M. Wow. Oh, it's got all the case. Yeah. Bonus. Clean that up. Two for you. Thank you. New. Oh wow. Bloody circuit. Circuit board. Look at those gold fingers. Wow. Gold doesn't fade away. Model M. That's uh, just a oddball one, but I might take it. Model M. Not as good as the first one that I got. Oh, one's come from inside. So one's good. Uh, don't want to damage them any more than they might be. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, if I sound tired, I am. Hope I can get the van out. Because it's a bit boggy. Before I completely load up the back, I might take the van out a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I better do that. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, continue filling up this van now. Um, with as much as I can, there's obviously still a lot more coming um, and inside, but uh, I've just about got all the PCs, so my battery's just about to go down, so um, I'll load up, go back home, and uh, we'll finish off the second stage of this video. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Well, 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 here we are again, and it's chock-a-block loaded as usual. Uh, the tyres are right down, so I've really got to get some a bit of weight off the back here at least. Uh, pretty exhausted. So I ended up just uh, pretty much cleaned out every PC out of the uh, off the ground that you saw. There was, uh, you know, and PCs that come from inside. So some of them are a bit grassy. They've been sitting out in the grass for quite a while, you know, and... Uh, this one's virtually, it's just a modern one and it's virtually, well, it's still got pretty much everything. It's got three hard drives in there, but uh, yeah, so I started scraping at the bottom of the barrel there. Um, in the last 20 minutes or so, just picking up pretty much anything that, uh, you know, I was trying to also save the guys from having to throw so much in into the, the next bin that was coming. And I also had to do it pretty quick because the bin was on its way, the new one. So I had to um, load up and sort of get out, get out of there for the day. Um, so I've got my third bin. This is just my low-grade board, but I've only just started it. So I've got a lot of circuit boards again. Uh, probably a little bit more low-grade circuit boards than I had yesterday. Uh, simply because I left a lot of low-grade boards because I was trying to pick all the, the good ones. Uh, the IBM M1 keyboards, uh, th this was another one that was sort of on the ground that was buried. Um, it is an M1 clicky, but um, yeah, it's a bit muddy. Uh, but I thought I'd get it anyway just for uh, parts. So the, the cover is actually still good. Sometimes the covers can break. Um, and it's good that it's still got this plug just so I can see what kind of plug it needs for the good ones that I've got. So that's okay. Um, but <coughs> when I mentioned to him about the uh, IBM M1 keyboards or the Model M keyboards, he said, oh, right at the start, I reckon I throw out heaps of them. So he probably had every uh, collection of IBM Model M um, this was the last one he brought out to me. You, I didn't have this on camera. So this one's perfect. It's got the cable, complete cable. And there you go. IBM Model M. So remember, these are worth, you know, at least a hundred bucks. You clean them up, you probably get a little bit more. And so this one's going straight inside. Yeah, so after I told him that, he told me that oh, there would have been quite a lot that he's already thrown out. They had no idea. And so, yeah, he pulled out a couple that he found inside, and he reckons there's probably going to be even more. So, because uh, there's there's a couple of rooms that he, he hasn't even touched yet. And then there's... Uh, um, what was I trying to say? Uh, then there's the garage, and I noticed some more uh, PCs, uh, not so vintage, sort of just in the backyard. <laughs> and then um, also, who knows what's in the garage? It's it's uh, you know five foot tall of uh, stuff that they're slowly getting through. But I couldn't believe what was in that garage. There's there's a whole heap of motors and transformers. There's uh, even engine blocks in there, and uh, it's just insane. Um, the amount of stuff. And they've uh, they had two guys yesterday working on everything, getting rid of stuff, and today there was four guys uh, working on everything, and they still didn't. How's that? Um, didn't even touch the surface it's just incredible so these things I don't want to 
fill up the bin with uh, a lot of these boxy things but uh, I've got nowhere else to put them at the moment because they'll just make a real mess so I've just got to uh, keep filling but yeah another awesome haul and um, as I was you know you saw all the PCs on the ground and all that as I was moving stuff and I was pushing what I didn't want against the fence so they can throw it into uh, the the next bin that comes uh, there was I was finding like slot cards and circuit boards underneath everything you know so I did get quite a decent uh, amount of circuit boards again today but as I said there's a lot of uh, low grade stuff but even some of the low grade stuff is uh, very old stuff so there there are good components um, even for gold recovery so yeah this is me again uh, well tomorrow they're not going to be there so and maybe not even that the following day so I've got a couple of days to uh, start processing stuff um, start organizing things anyway um, and give them a bit of the time to start uh, emptying out those other rooms so a lot of this kind of thing you know all different kind of switches and testing equipment so and I mentioned to him again the uh, CPUs and I said you know I don't you know I'm I, it wouldn't surprise me, I said to him, that uh, the guy's got a box or two of uh, electronic components, including CPUs, somewhere. And he said, oh, yeah, well, he goes, what does a CPU look like? And I said, uh, I showed him one. And he said, oh, yeah, actually, there was a box in the garage that sort of tipped over and it had quite a lot of them, you know. So, oh, wow, you know, looking forward to that because I love my ceramic CPUs. It's not necessarily just for gold recovery, it's more for uh, the collectability of it. So this is just an old school docking station. I thought I'd take it because normally docking stations don't have much in them, but uh, because it's so old school, it might have a few good boards in there. Yeah, so really looking forward to potentially getting a whole box of uh, ceramic CPUs and just to... Uh, go through is another one of those uh, same I got yesterday those old school telecom modems so uh, well, yeah I've got two of them now that's good still got to work out whether I should uh, scrap them or just keep a couple just for uh, other collectors but yeah still a lot of nice motherboards with CPUs in them uh, look at that just a, uh, a card again nice gold fingers and more gaming stuff these were outside unfortunately they got things like uh, the cords cut but you know home TV programmer victory and uh, yeah so it's had the cords cut so this probably would have been found on the street uh, so might not be uh, you know you never know they, they could be still they can still be used as like displays and that'd be quite interesting a lot of power supplies today and a lot of these kind of different instruments amp meters and you know very vintage kind like some of you know I, I don't mind my uh, steampunk stuff um, oh and uh, there's also <laughs> got this one this is a Commodore um, 1084 monitor for a gaming monitor and there's another one inside that's even better in even better condition but luckily this has a normal power plug so so don't have to worry about any cords cut so I like this sort of stuff uh, 
Um, yeah, and that's the <laughs> that's the two already full. And so I dare say I'm not gonna. Once I get all this stuff out, it's going to be mostly just bigger stuff. There might be a, a box or two worth of uh, 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 circuit boards and stuff, but most of what will be after this will be just PCs that were stashed. Oh, who knows? You know, I can't really predict. Could be anything. But, uh, as you can see, some of these PCs uh, here are the more modern PCs uh, because they're the last thing I, I took. Just wanted to make sure I got uh, all the good ones. So all these CBs, some old, really old school. Um, and there's a lot more to go. So I just want to take as many as I can and just sort of uh, have a display of a whole different CP, uh, CBs, but they're probably not even going to be for me in the end because there are collectors around here that like CB radios and they'll make a really nice display, I reckon. Just some stuff like this with, you know, transformers, some low grade board. It's all good. So yeah, uh, I'm just trying to get a bit of weight off, but yeah, a lot of this, even got a, an old PlayStation, it's uh, not in very good condition, but still one for the scrapping out. So some of these will have, well, see, I was just about to say they'll have good sized transformers in there, some wire. Um, yeah, uh, so I, the first batch was 74 PCs, and as I said, at least 60 of them were a nice vintage old school, at least 60 of them, so really looking forward to, you know, these, this motherboard has got to be obviously hosed out, but you know, just sitting on the, you know, buried underneath stuff on the ground. Got to salvage all that. Even took some DVD plays this time. Pretty much anything, really. So how's this for a uh, an unbelievable hoard? Like, this guy didn't throw out anything. <laughs> uh, just incredible. Uh, this is a, well, it just looks like a printer. Sometimes it's hard to tell when I'm picking them up. I mean, look at these, you know. Look at all those chips on there. Tantalum capacitors. Fingers. Nice. Nice slot card. Yeah. An IBM. That's that blue lightning one that I pointed out. Unbelievable. One of them again. Four hundred, uh, four thousand megabyte hard drive. Nice. Even a, a modern, a modern uh, IBM uh, server board. Take it. Wow. So yeah, as you saw, uh, I started, you know, just picking the PCs. So all at the front is all just PCs, and this is all just the loose stuff. I even took big wads of cable and stuff just to uh, what's this just power supply thing. So that's why it's very messy at the back here. It's a shambles because I just started picking up whatever low grade, you name it, whatever I could pick up just to uh, clear their way. So they could drag stuff out. Um. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. That's seven more PCs there. Let me get rid of this. 
and once again once I uh, open that side door even worse this time everything's a lot of little things are gonna because I was throwing in into the little cavities just to uh, cram it in as much as I could well this tub is not gonna fit nowhere near this stuff but what can I do A funny old CB radio and still heaps of hard drives all over the ground just everywhere I just really wish that uh, I got onto this stuff before they actually started filling the bins they would have had a lot more stuff in the bins um, or being able to put a lot more stuff in there because I dare say how many PCs they threw out already underneath all that the, the bin and uh, yeah and how many Model M keyboards they've taken out from inside uh, the guy the hoarder must have had a monopoly on Model M I think he picked up every one and this one is is in fantastic condition like that one there that's a real keeper you know and you wouldn't want to sell it this one's a bit busted up yeah I wouldn't want to sell it unless so I got really top dollar but it'll probably go towards my my personal stack and it this PC is absolute shambles right really smashed up I um, firstly I took out the CPU it was a beautiful K5 with a gold cap underneath and I wasn't going to take it but in the end it was just sitting there for I might as well take it and get the motherboard and I'll just throw this it'll be one of the first things in the scrap metal um, you know because I just didn't want to leave it there you know um, yeah so this sort of stuff is all just mostly low-grade boards just to get rid of it and it's going to get more exciting once I get into it uh, and this thing uh, telecom controller okay wow it's a nice big box still got the cables okay so it's obviously some sort of yeah gives you tells them the speed in the kilobytes a second so I reckon I reckon there'll be a a good board in there there's got to be I'll just keep it for now keep everything for now I'm like just like that hoarder there's no difference I don't want to get rid of everything I, I mean obviously I'm, I'm not a hoarder I wouldn't keep stuff like that that's just low-grade board that should be sent off and processed you know uh, more low-grade just he's obviously done a lot of TVs yeah but as so I, I didn't pick up this stuff yesterday because as I've mentioned a few times I wanted to make sure that I get as much pretty good stuff before I went away and find out that someone else has come along and and taken my uh, all the good stuff these hard drives awesome so you got to kind of play it smart since you're there and you got first dibs at something You've got to uh, try and make the most of it. Yeah. This is just one of the boxes that the guy brought out. I wasn't even like, watching. Yeah. Okay. Just junk. Uh, it's good junk, though. This is a temperature controller. But he got a lot of stuff, I tell ya. This looks interesting too. I reckon by the end of the night, half of this is gonna collapse <laughs> overnight. Oh, I wanna get all this cable out. I 
Another one of those CPUs with the heatsink mounted. Cool. Better put these things. So there was a couple of these. I mean, I could see really nice gold pins. Worst comes to worst. If then, no good to anyone. Well, that's that's the the best one. So I want to keep that. And they're all the laptops from yesterday's pickup. Um, and yeah, there's another Commodore monitor inside. Uh, there's a few other monitors. I've just got to check. Um, I'm hoping for a, a nice Amstrad monitor as well. Cable! Wow. Yeah, that's not a... That just... It's not a Model M, that keyboard. It was just uh, tangled up with all the cable. Wow. It's another Brox. Uh, one of the guys brought from inside. All cards and boards. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this mess. Old CPU. Uh, CPU. I've got CPUs on my mind. CB radio, I mean. It's <laughs> another one of them with the heatsink mount CPUs, ceramic, just on its own. Must have come off all this. an AMD 486 nice that's a nice one gold uh, try and keep it neat a real mad tangle I have to sort of cut the cords as I go otherwise it'll never <laughs> unwind <laughs> almost lost me Mike. Bit better. There's more of those CB radios. Nice. Might bring this one in. Yeah, so many. Yeah, just about every every different old <laughs> CB radio there is. Yeah, it's in good. Uh, it's in good overall condition. So um, these Commodore monitors, if they, if the screen's good, you know, because the screens don't last forever. So especially people that collect Commodore 64 and stuff, the first thing they usually need is is a new monitor or just one that works. And, uh, well, these days, they're so hard to get that you can be really uh, pricey on your, your stuff like that. 
another ST225. Another ST225. Wow. It's like a it's like a museum of of e-waste. An old modem data link 14.4k. How's that? There'll be a great board in that. This this uh opportunity doesn't come around. Like I said, I keep saying it's it's virtually once in a lifetime. Look at that. There's a, just a loose 686 IBM PR200, you know. What more do you want? That's that's just loose, <laughs> let alone what's in the actual PCs. Is another old PC. It's got some cards. 16 bit so I bought it for 10 bucks back in the day because he was he was a repair man I'll just leave that we'll get into it later that's four so seven that's four eleven twelve for the day so far okay so I'm going to finish off just emptying this van I've taken out a lot of smalls and just left aside a few uh, PCs that are reasonably interesting. This one here, it looks like it's just a, a generic one. Um, it's not super old school. It's just got the floppy, but it's in absolute pristine condition and it has uh, a lot of cards. Um, I'm just gonna keep this one aside and see if I can power it up. Um, and this one is a big, heavy NEC PowerMate One Plus, and again, it, it's got the the transition sort of stage where they've original five and a quarter inf, inch floppy, but they've put in a three and a half inch floppy afterwards because I can just see the difference in colour. So they upgraded it. Uh, so this one looks quite quite good i want to check this one out uh nec a apc uh, h201 of whatever so what i've done is i've decided uh to have a bit of a plan of attack here when it comes with to these pcs and that is um i already made a start on cleaning out my garage so i have got some space reserved free space where uh, I'm going to put all my all the PCs that I want to look at or I feel that are um, too valuable to scrap in the garage and then uh, scrap the rest like this one here okay it's just you know no name brand that I could see it probably was a brand but um, well, it does have a model number, but this sort of thing here is what I'll probably end up just scrapping out. But I'm not just going to scrap them out for uh, gold recovery stuff. I'm actually going to look at what um, parts are, uh, could be uh, valuable. Uh, so I'm really going to do a little bit, you know, a different type of scrapping with this batch. Now here's an interesting micro lab one. Uh, yeah it's it's not in the best condition so obviously this one is going to be just scrapped out but looking at what components are in there because um, what i'll probably do is i'll keep all the hard drives aside for now now this is just a regular pentium nothing spectacular this thing here is wow, one of the most interesting things and also there's another PC here. I'll show you. Well, let me get this one out. I'll put it at the back. It's like a briefcase. How's that? Unfortunately, it doesn't have the sides. Um, let me just get rid of this. See that kind of thing there? That's scrapped straight out. And as you can see, there's grass and weeds. So... 
it's certainly been left out in the rain and you know corroded uh, sides of the chips so this kind of thing I'm happy for scrapping as gold recovery but this thing it's amazing got some nice big hard drives in there I don't know what it is but it's uh, yeah I wish there was some kind of identifying markings on it uh, yeah but it looks like it's going to be amazing so this one yeah look at that it, I wish it just had um, these covers because it looks like a really interesting one like almost like portable don't know why they would have made it kind of like that but yeah there's no you can even open oh look at that oh, oh, oh wow it's a compact plus and that's the keyboard in there oh what a pity it didn't have the the coverings but look at that there's your monitor five and a quarter floppy I've gotten a bit more than a five and a quarter floppy looking at this but I can see the monitor has got some uh, screen burn in it you can sort of see oh look at that and the <laughs> it sort of comes in and out and that's a really good condition keyboard oh, oh. I just seen little latches here saying open and I thought okay I'll open it oh wow so obviously <laughs> this one is amazing oh what a pity I'm gonna look for uh, plastic covers maybe they could be sitting around in the yard I'm going back in a couple of days uh, just giving them enough time to clear out more of the house Oh, that is, see, this is the sort of thing I'm going to, obviously now uh, that I know kind of what it is, I'm going to put this aside. Uh, it's, you know, dusty and stuff, but hopefully it wasn't in the rain. It's got all the cards, it's got five cards. So it's, you know, totally loaded. That's incredible. Wow. I've got to have another look at this keyboard just says compact plus doesn't say yeah compact plus so I'm going to look up compact plus because there is no model numbers or anything that I can see oh that's that's incredible I'm glad I didn't just thought oh I'll just scrap it out because I don't know what it is and then come to find the keyboard like that this one would be awesome to restore if possible and then uh, some more interesting ones uh, here's another Amstrad PC7386 SX40 so the 386 but you know Amstrad's a good old brand and this one is in really good condition so definitely uh, one I'm going to put in the garage until I scrap everything out and work out what on earth I'm going to do with everything and here's an old Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer so this one was obviously found in hard rubbish or something because the the cord was cut but that's okay I don't think it's really worth trying to restore something like this but it might be uh, um, good for uh, parts for someone all the keys are still there just needs cleaning up and uh, 16k of RAM okay wow <laughs> that, oh, unbelievable so i'll get rid of this and we'll uh just finish off don't know if there's that many there's a few vintage ones it looks like a nice one right down the bottom there and we'll have a look at <laughs> just wondering what this is it's a fume cupboard exhaust indicator okay so for a uh got a little bell yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, the, the bell goes off and the red light goes on when, uh, when uh, something, it's like a fume hood sort of thing. There's another, uh, pity this one's got a, the glass is missing here. 
right? Still looks like the, the mechanism works. Metrovac, gauge control unit. Yeah, these are sort of, I like these kind of things. And this thing, <coughs> yeah, again, damaged needle and this part. Uh, filter tuning, filter frequency, um, tuned amplifier and null detector, general radio company in Massachusetts, USA, Concord. Wow, but it's a really cool steampunk kind of thing. Good display model again. All right, let me just take this in. Oh, I can't believe this. Straight in the garage, these top three items. Let's go and do it. Okay, so I've counted up all the PCs. Um, in this batch, there were 64, and the batch that I got in uh, the part one was 74. So what's that? 64 and 74 is 138 PCs so far. And oh, about a hundred of them are old school. <laughs> like very old school. So this one is a Texas Instruments uh, Travel Mate desktop intelligent docking system. Okay. So yeah, I can see like there's a a docking thing. I'm not sure if I've got the other part of it. I'm going to have to put this aside. It's a docking system. But, you know, it's part for the cards and there's definitely a uh, uh, a motherboard there. It's got keyboard, mouse, modem and game. So this is where you can put in your game console, maybe? 25 pin serial. Wow. So, that's interesting. It's where you put your PCMCIA cards. Battery load eject. So, obviously something docked into there. If anyone knows about this one. Texas Instruments. I like the brand. <laughs> so, it'll be a good one. Okay. Oh, this one's missing a bit, but it's a Sherry computer system. Wow. It's all very rattly, so this one will just be a scrap. But it'll be an interesting one. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, scrap out... Um, start scrapping out the PCs that need to be like that that's pretty modern and as we go we'll get some older ones to uh, have a look at and start scrapping uh, the ones in poor condition and uh, and as we'll go I'll be able to uh, yeah so again this is one for scrapping but as I'm scrapping these out uh, you know, it's going to be a good opportunity for people to see what I'm scrapping out and sort of giving me maybe advice on uh, what I should be keeping, what components. I know that like the five and a quarter inch floppies can be useful, but you know, uh, you know, I'm going to have over a hundred, maybe, well, I've, I've got quite a lot loose, so I'm going to probably have about 150 of them. So I can only store so much. I don't want to store... Uh, tons of stuff and turn out to be a hoarder <laughs> like that guy so um so i'm mostly looking for uh <coughs> certain motherboards certain slot cards uh and chips and stuff that um would be a shame to just let it go as a you know for scrap gold recovery uh because there's still a lot of people uh, restoring this sort of stuff. But things like this, like these hard drives, you know, it's just hard to say, like, where they've, you know, uh, I can even see there's a bit of chipping on, on the fingers. Uh, you know, these ones that are loose, apart from them being, like, just a display collectible thing, I'm not sure uh, many are going to be... Uh, 
This is a, uh, I think it's a little gaming thing. It's Pocket Boy Advanced. Yeah, oh well, I put it towards my gaming stuff. Yeah, so look out for all the videos from, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to call them, uh, like the Horde Scrap Sessions or something like that. And then what I want to do at the end, whilst I'm going, is uh, I want to... Uh, just do a tally on everything that I got out of this, these things, apart from the ones that I actually keep complete. So I want to see all the CPUs and the RAM and all the different cards and that. Um, I'm just filling up a, another uh, wheelie bin of uh, smalls. But obviously I've got to go through all these three tubs which are getting higher and higher um, every time. Because there's a, a lot of circuit boards and stuff in here and uh, some amazing chips so I want to accumulate all them put them aside and just sort of have a tally of what I actually got especially all the the chips for gold recovery and stuff um, you know things like this uh, I, I'm not sure what to really do with yet uh, it's missing some EPROMs here but um, yeah and and just do a yeah a complete tally of all the how many cards I got you know maybe I weigh them up how many motherboards um, you know I just won't worry about things like power supply units you know and, and low grade stuff I'm just going to have to process them but these are the first things I've got to do actually before I start scrapping these PCs and as you can see there are quite a few at the back already but the uh, piles starting to get too deep <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I can just see a lot of these. Look at that. I mean, that's got to be scrapped. And I want to just, you know, obviously, look at this one. So take out the boards and everything and um, get rid of the cases straight to the scrapyard. So I'll just do batches so I can fill up the van with scrap and just get rid of the, you know. And even then, this uh, a lot of this steel is really heavy. So I still get a decent pay for the scrap steel. Okay, well this one is beautiful. This is uh, also a, it's a compact Desk Pro, um, and it's in very nice condition. So it's ah uh, uh, yeah, um, just a Desk Pro. They that it hasn't really got a model number but that's all right that's oh man super heavy that'll be a good one and then the rest yeah they look like mostly opened up here yeah. so there's nothing really else that's like going to blow us away um yeah so all right well i'll just uh continue uh scrapping all this uh, or unloading and just getting myself organized so okay guys i hope that was uh, some fun for you i certainly had fun and got uh, a few surprises right at the end here so that was awesome um you know with that uh compact carrier thing is a signed wider winder very old uh cb radio gosh so I'm going to have quite a few CB radios. Uh, I, I kind of want one of every different one I can get uh, in my own collection because um, I've been building a collection for quite a few years. Uh, so, all right. So uh, if anyone's got any uh, advice on how what, what I should start with when I'm scrapping or what I should be looking out for, how to go about it, um, you know, because it's a little bit different. Uh, normally I'm just doing modern PCs over and over again and uh, you know like look at that you know and obviously can't do much with this it's a you know it's a nice IBM um, and I think that these drives uh, the IBM drives might be uh, quite uh, sought after and this one's even got you know the ribbon wire and it's even got a card that the drives connect to you know so uh, if anyone wants to give any advice I'm happy to take it on board uh, what I should be looking out for and uh, you know what other people are looking out for and um, 
yeah, but it still might be a little while. Oh, this one's just empty till I uh, get to really start getting into the nitty gritty of scrapping all these. I I've still got to sort out which ones I'm going to keep uh, as I go because it's kind of madness here and even though I can see a lot of these ones on the on the top here are all going to be scrapped out uh, some of them aren't going to be very interesting because they're you know just Pentium 4 type things but yeah I'll get down to it and as I find my uh, the good ones to keep I'll keep packing them into the garage like some of them big ones down there might even keep one of the wangs uh, Hopefully, I think there's a few more inside the house. And yeah, but uh, this is kind of the thing that I really need to get onto because this is where normally I put my plastic and power supply units. And the other one is for low grade boards. And so if I start scrapping PCs, I need these tubs to put all uh, the power supplies and low grade into. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, things are going to be shambles. So here's some more ready to be scrapped out. And I've just got to sort of organise and start looking things up like these Toshiba T3100s. Uh, as I mentioned, I've got one that's in virtually pristine condition. Um, and so these are probably going to be scrapped. I might even do a vintage uh, laptop scrap session. And... Uh, yeah, I've even got some oddball things I wanted to scrap that I've gotten from recent pickups. But I'll have to get to that uh, soon. And I just had a guy come and bring me boards to sell. Uh, and from the first video, I showed you this that I scored at this uh, hoard. Right, well, check this board out that a guy just brought me. <laughs> They're all Motorola. I sees and look at that now is that spectacular or what um, tantalum capacitors there they're all uh, ceramic ICs apart from a couple but how's that and then you got an odd one out here in the middle that's doesn't have a gold cap um, a beautiful display board just another one slightly smaller caps gold caps than say this one uh, bigger caps um, but uh, nonetheless uh, absolutely beautiful and yeah wow and we know Motorola ceramics are really good so that's just uh, as you can imagine you know a board a wall display of all different things like that uh, also brought me a couple of interesting ones these are VTC ICs quite nice but they're board mounted so they have to be uh, desoldered and same as this one look at these three LCI logic LSI logics um, quite nice again board mounted um, yeah a few interesting things all right guys well enough excitement for the day uh, videos probably stretched on too long anyway so uh, yeah I'll um, probably, I'm not sure whether I'll do a part three of the pickup. Uh, I'm going back in a couple of days time. Not sure how exciting it's going to be, but hey, who knows? Who knows what comes out of the house? And like I've mentioned, uh, there's, uh, um, I'm hoping for CPUs and stuff, but uh, this is obviously my garage and I can already walk through here. Just got to put away a few things like the furnace. So I have made a, a, um, you know, a good sort of uh, inroads into this garage clean out as well. I spent about three days depopulating boards um, and stuff. So uh, this is the start of my uh, keeping the good stuff. So I've got the Olivetti and the Power Macintosh, got a Samsung and got that one that I just took out, that compact or whatever it was, the, the briefcase one with the keyboards here. That's amazing. Uh, I just put an NEC and uh, what's that, the Amstrad that I got from yesterday and just slowly building them up and so this is where this table will be the start and then I'll make room here and I'll start stacking them up here and it's just temporarily 
uh, until I, I've got enough space to, you know, I've still got lots of, you know, my own stuff to process. So um, once I get everything down and organise everything, then I'll, I'll sit down and uh, do a bit of research on the, all the ones that I keep. And uh, yeah, but this will probably be the first thing we're going to tackle in uh, one of the, the first scrap videos of this hoard is just going through, I'm just going to uh, sort out everything out of every tub and, uh, you know, really clear because I'd imagine that there's going to be another tub worth coming in a couple of days, so there's going to be heaps. So, all right, guys, keep scrapping, have fun. Look out for uh, these scrapping videos to come. There's a, a lot of videos here, I suppose. Who knows? We'll just see uh, how we go, and uh, it's going to be awesome to to see the uh, awesome boards that we get at the end and the CPUs and uh, whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, catch you next time.